Well, happy Monday, you guys. And today is a snow day here in northern lower Michigan. Um, my neighbor, Billy, who's the sweetest man ever, um, is out there right now plowing my driveway. So as a thank you, I want to send him over um, a cinnamon bread. So it's gonna be kind of like a cinnamon roll, but it's gonna be a bread. And we're gonna do something special. We're gonna kind of put it inside out and then we're gonna twist it. We're gonna make it pretty. So I figured I'd turn on the camera and take you along and um, you guys can see how I All do All right this. guys, so let's make a loaf of bread. We are gonna start with one and a half cups of warm water, two teaspoons of instant yeast, two tablespoons of sugar, I'm gonna make this bread slightly sweet because um, I want the dough a little sweet. So I'm gonna add an equivalent, if I had to guess, about a tablespoon of fresh local honey that I get from a beekeeper that is a friend of my son's. Okay, and then to this, um, we are gonna be adding four cups of bread flour, or if you're weighing out your flour like I am, we're gonna be adding 548 grams of flour, which I'm gonna put in my sifter tool. I'll leave a link up above um, to that, this tool, this scale tool for those of you who are interested. All right, so now I'm gonna turn on my mixer and we're gonna start sifting in our flour here. Now to this, I'm also going to be adding two tablespoons of softened butter, two tablespoons of milk powder, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and about a tablespoon of vanilla. Homemade vanilla, be exact. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna detach my scale and sifter and then I'm going to go ahead and just let this now come together and knead and um, I'll bring you back when we get it into a ball guys so I'll let it knead for five minutes All right. just take it off of the mixer This is all nice and clean. Okay. Get a scraper here. Take off my rings. And my watch. Well, my Fitbit. <laughs> and I just want to get this into a nice pretty dough ball okay let's see right there beautiful I mean it's beautiful okay so now what I'm gonna do is with my bowl I'm just gonna take a little bit of olive oil. Okay, I'm just going to drizzle a little bit inside. Then we're going to take our dough ball. We're going to go ahead and put it upside down. We're going to spin it in the oil. We're going to flip it over so that it's nice and pretty. 
And then I'm gonna take, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna take a bread towel and I just like to dampen it. Of course, that's when my camera dies. So there's our dough ball, okay? And then I'm gonna place this in my oven on the, um, on the proof setting. I have a proof setting on my oven. It's one of the reasons why I wanted this particular oven. Um, but you go ahead and just set this somewhere warm. I sometimes, well, I used to set it under my lights, under my cabinet lighting. Um, you can set it on top of your stove. You can put it in, um, if you have a proof box or an Excalibur, they also have a bread proofing um, option on those, th on those um, tools as well. So you just wanna set this somewhere warm, especially right now where, you know, when it's cold and drafty here in Michigan, we just got about, six or seven inches of snow so it's very cold outside so just set it somewhere warm and we are going to leave this alone for an hour we'll come back and um we will shape it and we will add this cinnamon to it and um and then it'll be ready for its second rise so i will see you guys back in one second but an hour okay, might guys so it's been an hour go ahead and take that top down with nice clean hands, we're gonna go ahead and de deflate. Now this only makes one loaf, that's all I need because this is going next door to my neighbor. We're gonna bring that out and then just a little bit of flour. I'm gonna go ahead and roll this out. Okay, so once you have your bread rolled out, we're just going to kind of make it more of a, of a perfect rectangle, square, whatever shape yours is close to being. Okay, just like so. And then we are gonna take powdered sugar, okay? And this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and we are going to, with a sifter, we are gonna lay down a nice hearty layer, layer of powdered sugar. This is gonna make a bit of a mess. Make sure you have really clean counters. I know I hate having to say that, but I'll get ridiculous snarky comments in the comment section if I don't. So. Okay. So powdered sugar. So really, really cool technique. And it works really well. And it ends up being really pretty. I do it so that I don't see the um, the dough anymore, and then I know it's a nice layer. Okay, so once you do that, we're then going to go ahead and we're going to sprinkle a layer of cinnamon. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and with a spray bottle with just water in it, you can buy a spray bottle even at the dollar store. We're gonna go ahead and just lightly mist that. Okay, and then we're gonna roll it. All right, so we're gonna start here. Nice tight roll. Actually, I want to roll it this way. I'm going to roll it this way instead because this will fit my pan a little bit better. So I'm going to roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, and then, of course, when you get to the edge, Hopefully you guys can see this. 
You're gonna bring it up as even as possible and you're just gonna pinch the seam. Okay. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and poke, poke the end in, bring it up and seal it. And we're gonna do the same thing with this side. I'm gonna poke it in, bring it up, and seal it. Okay, I'm gonna get my pan out. Okay, I'm gonna use my Pullman pan, um, but I'm not going to put the lid on it. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of seal that bottom okay and then what i'm going to do this is what's cool okay so you got it nice and sealed if you guys can see that hopefully i'm going to take my bench knife okay and right down the center i'm going to cut this Okay, right down the center, okay, and then you're going to be able to see those layers on the inside, okay? What I'm going to do is on the edge, I'm just going to pinch that edge together, okay, and then the, the underside one, we're going to lift up and we're going to spin it. Okay, this is just a twist. Okay, then we're gonna do, again, the lower one. We're gonna twist it. Okay, again, twist, twist. And then when you get at the end here, okay, go ahead and just pinch that together just like that, all right? So there is our cinnamon twist. All right, now I'm gonna do it in a Pullman pan because you know I'm giving this as a gift, so I want a nice, big, hearty loaf. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and tuck that in. I'm gonna try to keep the shape as much as possible. Okay, make it even. Okay, and I'm gonna pick you up and show you what that looks inside the pan. Now, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 350 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and cover this again. I'm gonna let it rest and rise another 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes um, on, my, on, my, on my stove top. I'm just gonna put it right here on my stove top and um, let this rise as my oven preheats to 350 degrees and then we're going to come back and we're going to put it in the oven. So I'll be back when this rises and I'll show you what it looks okay. like. Okay, let's try to set you up here so you can see this. So there we have it. Um, and what I did is I went ahead and I beat one egg with a little bit of water and I'm going to give this an egg wash because it'll just be really pretty and it'll give it a really nice not only golden brown color but a really nice um glaze look on it And then this is up to you like you could put a um, icing on this after it's done baking you can do like a crumble on top with some brown sugar um, I'm gonna keep it simple because this is again this is a gift for my neighbor so um, I don't want to add glaze in case that's too much for them. Um, and I want to keep this nice and simple for them to um, just slice up and toast in the morning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be adding, um, I 
am adding this. It is a uh, sweet seasoning blend. It has sea salt, orange, cinnamon, and ginger uh, in it. You can also use just a cinnamon sugar. Uh, would be really nice on top of this as well. I'm going to use just a sprinkling of this. Um, it has a really nice flavor on it. And it gives it a really nice like um, crunch on the top. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of that on the top. I do have some sanding sugar uh, mixed with a little bit of cinnamon. So I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit of that on top as well, just for that extra crunch. And that will do it. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. Now I'm going to put it in a 350 degree oven for about 30-35 minutes until it's golden brown. And when I bring it out of the oven, I will show you guys what it looks there like. There we go. Alright guys, so just pulled it out of the oven and we are going to flip this out. And then I'm going to let it cool on the rack. on the rack just like that and let me turn on the kitchen lights so you guys can get a better look at what this looks like all right there you have it it's just that technique adds just such a prettiness to this bread and there's all the cinnamon get that focused for you and then there's the that side it's just really really pretty so again if you want to add a glaze to this you can definitely add a glaze um, I'm not going to add one just because like I said it's it's a gift It'll be a lot easier to bag this up <laughs> this way without the glaze. Plus, I don't know if they'll like that or not. Um, but this is so good, sliced up, toasted in the toaster oven, and uh, with a little pat of butter in the morning with your coffee. Oh my goodness. Um, it's also really good if you add raisins to this. You can add cranberries to this. You could add chocolate chips if you wanted, um, but I've never done that. I've, I've done the raisins and I've done the cran, um, the cranberries, the craisins I think they're called. Um, and those are fantastic in this. But honest to goodness, just like this by itself with the cinnamon is all you need. So good and so pretty, right? So it's just a different technique. That's all it is. Um, just splitting that down the center like that and exposing uh, the ribbons is what makes it so pretty, so unique. So anyway, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you give it a try if you have already. I mean, you know, I didn't invent this, you guys. So um, if you have made this already, comment down below. If you plan on making or making it, or if you go ahead and make it from watching this, come back and let me know what you think. And um, yeah, as always guys, I'll be, uh, I'll be seeing you later. <laughs> All right guys. You have a good week, and uh, I'll be seeing you soon. All right, bye guys.